Cinematográfica, vera o regatic baitago emen, vere y bilvide cinematográfico ari o men al día egiteco. Andy Casico Gara, bye. Eh, sí, hola. Enhorabuena por el premio. Caixo Zorionak, Sariarengatik, bi galdera egin nahi nituzke. Lehenengoa zure lehenengo filmari buruz da, el estriteko amesgaizoa, filma izan zen egin zen nuen lehenengoa, eta gero genero fantastikoan eta terrorean asko egin duzu. Ba, duzu nola beteko lehentasuna, genero horretan, lan egiteko? Eta bigarren galdera, jakimin utxetik abiatzen da. Task, filmean, Kevin Smithen film horretan. Entonces me gustaría que comentara esa aparición. Muchísimas gracias. Are you listening to the? Listening to. Are you listening to the question or not? I'm listening to it. Doesn't seem to be coming out. Yeah. Is it? You didn't. Maybe. Podías repetir la pregunta para que nuestro traductor. Ahora que. Sí. If if I unplug it, hang on. It doesn't work. No, that doesn't work either. Let's leave it. Thanks. Ah, yeah. yeah. Sorry? Okay. Terribly sorry. Uh, uh, I didn't... Uh, I got you now. Vale, eh... Sí, lo primero decía eh, darle la enhorabuena por el premio y muchas gracias por todas sus interpretaciones. Eh, era, son dos preguntas. La primera es, eh, dado que su primera película fue Pesadilla en Elm Street, un papel muy recordado en una saga muy conocida del género fantástico y de terror, luego ha seguido trabajando bastante en el género. Eh, quería saber si tenía especial relación o especial gusto por este, por este, por este tipo de películas, aparte de, de todo, que ha hecho más cosas, ¿no? Pero bueno, yo creo que tiene especial relación con este género. Y la segunda pregunta es eh, sobre su aparición en la película Task de Kevin Smith como el personaje Guy Lapuant, que me parece curiosísima y quería que comentara un poco eso. Muchísimas gracias. Sure, thank you for the question. Um, um, what was the question again? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I've chosen to... Uh, um, I don't know, I was, I was, I was chosen by the, by the character almost of these, of these people that I've played, you know, that, that, I've, that I've had the opportunity to play. Um, it's a very strange thing when you have the image of all these, Mazel tov, of all these incarnations, various incarnations of yourself um, before you, when you see photographs or a uh, slice of footage of these, um, characters it it's uh, it, it takes me back to the memory of making the film and the feeling of being the character but uh, um, it's a strange thing you you pass them you pass them by like you know not that you pass them by it's like you put them away and they they reside in some dresser drawer inside you you know they're still there um, uh, The greatest actors for me were, um, in my early, early years, I, I, I got lucky and started, I, I started watching silent films on television. And I really loved um, that in those films, um, whether it was a personality character like a Buster Keaton or the Tramp, Charlie Chaplin or whatever, um, what they were capable, or Lon Chaney Sr., who was the greatest character actor of all time, he, he, he made the effort to, 
to um, change him, himself um, to represent uh, other uh, people that he that he'd observed, you know. Um, so e each character kind of becomes a. Uh, it's almost like a recipe for uh, some sort of uh, dish. Um, uh, the, the character that I played in Tusk with Kevin Smith, um, as, as soon as he said um, he's a French Canadian pri <laughs> private investigator, um, I, I, I suddenly knew how far the character would be able to go where you're riding the line of too much or um, just enough or interesting or something or ridiculous. Um, I don't know, as an actor I, I think that the, the first, the first uh, rule is to, that you must be willing to uh, uh, go ahead and just uh, stand sort of naked and be willing to fall flat on your face um, by the various choices or choices you made or choices that you didn't make, for example. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Sí, tenemos ahí otra. Sí. Buenas tardes, enhorabuena Johnny, más que merecido este premio. Eh, la pregunta eh, es sobre si ves que los artistas como tú estáis un poco desprotegidos en esta época de un poco de cancelación, de que los juicios se llevan a cabo por las redes sociales y que eso afecta de una manera... Eh, directa a los artistas sin realmente saberse la verdad de los hechos, si, porque la gente se ve legitimida, legitimada perdón, a hablar sobre la vida privada de un artista porque cree que lo conoce. Eh, tú como actor y una persona con una dimensión enorme, ¿cómo ves esta situación? Gracias. Um, it's, it's, it's a complex very complex uh, um, it's a very complex situation because it can be seen as an event in history that lasted for however long it lasted for um, this cancel culture or this instant ru rush to judgment um, based on essentially what amounts to polluted air <laughs> that's exhaled. Um, um, I <laughs> do I feel uh, safe myself uh, yeah I do I do now um, because it's important when you're faced with something um, as uh, mind-bogglingly um, bewildering um, that sort of thing hits you from many many angles um, first 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 is what <laughs> what um, uh, so because maybe you know uh, quite a while back now, <clears throat> prior to the the various movements that came out, um, 
um, a couple with, I'm sure, the best of intentions. However, um, it, 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 it's, it's so far out of hand now that um, I can promise you that no one is safe. N not one of you. Not one of you. N not anyone out that door. No one is safe as long as someone is willing to say one sentence. It takes one sentence and uh, and then there's no more ground. Carpet's been pulled. But it's not just me, you know, that this has happened to. Um, <clears throat> it's happened to a lot of people. This type of thing has happened to women, men, children who've suffered from um, various types of uh, unpleasantries that sadly at a certain point they begin to think that it's normal or that it's them when it's not nobody um, out there we don't know what anyone's thinking at any moment um, but I believe that, yeah, no one's safe, but I believe that if you are armed with the truth, then that's, that's all you need. It doesn't matter if a judgment per se uh, um, has, uh, taken some artistic license uh, uh, no when when there's an injustice it, 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 whether it's against you or someone you love or someone you believe in stand up don't sit down don't sit down on them, you know, because they need you. Sí. Quizás sí. Thanks. Tenemos... Gracias. Tenemos más preguntas. Quizá podemos volver a la carrera del señor Depp. Eh, tenemos allí eh, una... Eh, ¿A ti ahí detrás? No, detrás, ahí, sí, justo. Y después... Ah, vale. Ongie Torri, welcome, ah. Mr. Depp. Yeah. Eh, Thank you. La semana pasada, la asociación de... Mujeres directoras de España eh, criticó el premio que se le va a entregar esta noche. Dijeron concretamente que no era el momento porque había evidencias de, de maltrato machista. Me gustaría saber qué quiere o si le apetece decirles algo al respecto. Y por otra parte, ¿cómo ha afectado todo esto a su carrera en Hollywood? Por favor, eh, hemos dicho al principio, ya lo hemos dicho, que no que las preguntas se ciñeran a su carrera profesional. Entonces, vamos, si te parece. Si tienes alguna pregunta sobre este tema, estaremos encantados. No, lo siento. Vamos a pasar entonces aquí. Gracias. Um, hello, it's here. Hey. I'm from Portugal, Rui, and I have two small questions. So, um, if you would meet now the young Johnny Depp, what could be a career advice that you could give him? And also in Portugal, there will be a walk backwards. <laughs> and also there will be a festival in Lisbon and Sintra next month and we're going to celebrate uh, Roman culture, gypsy culture. What do you think about this kind of celebration? I was just curious. Well, uh, um, put it this way, I know, I know that a gypsy wedding is a three-day event. So um, any celebration outside of that would probably have to be 10, to, 10 days to two weeks. A lot of people falling. Uh, um, I, um, I, have a, I have a great passion for that culture, um, for the Rom, and, and, and have learned a lot from the various uh, uh, um, musicians and, and people who, you know, living 
um, that 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 way, that that, that lifestyle. Um, I've learned I've learned a lot from them. Um, Sintra is a beautiful place. <clears throat> I en ended up shooting um, quite a bit of the, the, the film many years ago with Roman Polanski down in Sintra and Porto, and yeah, it was quite quite beautiful. Yeah, loved it. Bien. Tenemos eh, aquí eh, una pregunta más. Sí, vienen por detrás con el micro. Enhorabuena, Johnny, por tu trabajo. He seguido tu trayectoria desde hace años y me pareces un actor increíble, titánico, poliédrico, absolutamente increíble. Soy actriz, directora, estoy ahora mismo con el guión de un largo. Perdona mi atrevimiento, pero te querría preguntar, eh, a la hora de elegir los proyectos, ¿en qué te basas? ¿En qué te guías para elegir un personaje en vez de otro? Y sobre todo, a la hora, por ejemplo, de proponerte participar en mi largo o que una persona te proponga un trabajo, ¿qué criterio es el que usas con el corazón o con la mente? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que te hace elegir un trabajo u otro para ver en qué dirección quieres ir? ¿Qué fue la última parte de la pregunta? ¿Perdón? Sí. Te, te quería right, preguntar. Right. ¿En qué te basas a la hora de elegir un proyecto o otro? ¿Cuáles son las características que te hacen elegir un personaje o rechazar un proyecto? Definitivamente. No, I understand. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and thank you. Uh, it, 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 uh, I've always. Um, relied on, on, on um, instinct or intuition and the initial, the initial um, emotion or the initial feeling or the initial spark or idea that might come from um, um, a character or, or any character in a, in a screenplay, just um, reading through the first time. Normally what I, what I do is if I, if, if I can, if I can get past 10, 15 pages, it's, it's all right. <laughs> um, if I can't, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's no, there's just nothing. It's just air. It's like drinking air. Um, but when you, so, something in it, something in the character um, puts a, a barb or a hook in you, on some emotional level that you that you 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 can relate to or that you feel you could add to so it's almost basically i choose the characters that i th i believe that um i might have something um unique to add to th that particular character um um, and be because they either f fascinate th me, the mind, or or they or they um, uh, dive inside your heart, you know. Um, but they, but they're all strangely intertwined, even you know, from the worst, the nastiest, to the to Edward Scissorhands, there, there is a, a some sort of monofilament that holds them all together, which is, which is, um, yeah, somewhere in the background, I guess me, behind the curtain, <laughs> you know. But um, I, 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 like I was saying earlier, sometimes you see. Uh, a, a section of film or a couple of photographs of characters that you've played and you see like four or five there and you go, my God, how they should have fired me a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. Um, yeah, I consider myself very lucky. Thank you. Thanks. Gracias. Thank you. Tenemos aquí otra pregunta. Bienvenido a aquí. Bienvenido. 
eh, felicidades por este premio. Yo te quería preguntar, eh, ¿cómo ves tu futuro artístico como actor? Si te veremos próximamente en la gran pantalla después del de fotógrafo de Minamata. Y, y una segunda pregunta, si te ofrecieran ahora volver a, a interpretar al capitán Jack Sparrow, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo cogerías el, el papel? ¿Con ilusión, ganas o un poco quizá de miedo o de rechazo? Gracias. Um, well, here's, here, here's the, um, I suppose this is the positive side of having, um, in a strange way, uh, given life to those characters like, a, like Captain Jack or, or whatever uh, character uh, that I was lucky enough to locate and bring to life. Um, the, the beauty of Captain Jack Sparrow for me is that um, um, I can I can travel with Captain Jack in a box, literally, <laughs> Captain Jack in a box, and when the opportunity is right. Um, I'm able to go and visit people um, um, places um, where um, the smiles and uh, the laughs and the things that are important uh, the most important things in the world are on the line so I still travel with Captain Jack and if I have the opportunity whenever I do I will go to these places I'll go to somebody's house man I'll perform in your your kid's birthday party at this point um, but the for that I'm able to experience um, I know I know what is a harsh uh, proposition that, 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 that people are looking sometimes there are children in hospitals and you see such courage in their eyes and but you can make them dive out of they can they can leave that for three four five seven minutes and laugh and giggle and have a great time and the parents who are normally standing there um, dying themselves because of their inability to <clears throat> help their child. If you can make them smile a little, laugh a little, forget a little, even if it's for 30 seconds. Uh, that's, that for me is what um, Captain Jack Sparrow is all about. Um, so, if they came to me, let's not even think that. Um, if there were, if if I, um, I think that the people who are, I think that the people who understand or know or get or or are touched or you know he's so ignorant that he makes you laugh if, if they're moved by a captain jack sparrow in any way i i um i don't need a company to do that um i can just do that myself and nobody can take that away so that's that's the greatest pleasure of jack sparrow as far as the cinema as far as the as far as the films um um, well, we did what we did, you know. Um, the it was a kind of a strange, abrupt halt, but uh, these are uh, strange, abrupt times. Um, but uh, so yeah, again, he he's never going to leave me, and he's uh, always going to be ready to go and say stupid stuff to make people laugh.
to make them forget about the, 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 the nastiness at times in life. And I mean that with every morsel straight down to my black-hearted, weaselly, gutted soul. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. Pleasure. <laughs> Sí, allá al fondo, por favor, hay una persona de amarillo que, lleva, que pidió al principio de todo. Eh, estoy intentando dar turno, o sea, turno a todos, pero es que sois muchísimos y, y vamos con el tiempo un poco limitado. Buenas tardes, eh, Mr. Depp. Bienvenido al Festival Internacional de Cine de San Sebastián y enhorabuena eh, por el premio Donostia. Estuviste Gracias. con nosotros el pasado año, en un año que fue complejo para la celebración de eventos de esta magnitud, eh, vuelves y repites otra vez y estás, traías en aquella ocasión un fantástico eh, documental. Vuelves este, este año a recoger el premio Donostia. Eh, no cabe duda de que eres un bravo amigo del festival. Thank you so much. En este sentido, mi pregunta... Eh, tienes una larga trayectoria eh, como actor, has interpretado papeles quizás para público más minoritario y otros para blockbuster, pero con una creatividad, creatividad extraordinaria. Mi pregunta sería, ¿cómo has visto evolucionar la industria, si es que es así, y cómo lo valoras? Muchas gracias. Bueno, mm. hay... Well, I... At this moment, myself personally, after being in the racket for um, 30 plus years now and experiencing various things, learning really, you know, learning the game of Hollywood just so that you could not, that you would not have to play it. You could duck and dodge and dive through it. Um, Hollywood, Hollywood is certainly not what it was. Um, and they can pretend to be. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a, I don't know, Hollywood, the studio system, um, the grudge matches, the pandemonium and chaos of Um, cinematic release to streaming to um, it is a case of no matter what I'm gonna get mine I mean that's where these people are coming from they realize that they're just as disposable as I am you know some more um, Um, so, large, large corporations take take hold of these things, um, and, and from from my point of view, as I wouldn't call myself an artist, but as a someone who does take um, part in the creation of and the collaboration of of making cinema, um, how much more formula do we need from the likes of studios, um, how much more um, condescension as an audience do we need um, with regard to, okay folks, we're now going to hit you with the whole plot of the story every 20 minutes. Um, I've said this for a long time, I think that I think that Hollywood has grotesquely underestimated the audience. I think that they, I, I think the audience is, they, they will watch what they're um, given. They're, they have choices and they will watch what, what they're given, what, they, what there is to watch. Um, I think the coronavirus and the pandemic sending everyone into their houses um, obviously had grave effects on many, many people health-wise. 
but small businesses or theaters and uh, this and that. What it also did was it put people in their houses with their families for long, long periods of time with television that they could watch virtually any movie they wanted. And the majority of the world went, you know, it's, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. We can sit and watch this thing at home. We can cook up some popcorn. We could do this, we could do whatever. As opposed to the idea of a guy who, who makes, uh, you know, $700 a week um, and he wants to take his wife and kids out to, the, to dinner and a, and, and, and a movie um, on the weekend, that's a $200 deal with parking and the whole business or whatever. It's a big deal. Um, so I think, I think that the, the, the Hollywood movie machine is, has a, a few design flaws that they're just realizing. Um, I'm glad I saw them coming, personally. <laughs> Thank you. Sí, tenemos aquí. Vamos a. Hola, Johnny. Felicidades por este premio de Nostia, que reconoce una carrera impresionante y que le ha hecho tan popular. Quería preguntarle. ¿De quién se va a acordar esta noche? ¿De quién se va a acordar cuando recoja el premio Donostia tan prestigioso? Oh, um, well, first, first and foremost, the um, undying support of the festival. Um, um, everyone involved, Jose Luis, I mean, uh, all the way to the town, to the mayor, um, for <laughs> for not buying. Um, For, for, for not buying what what is has been for far too long um, a product of a portion of a, 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 some some notion of me that uh, doesn't exist and. Um, I was understanding if 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 um, if I thought it best that my presence here would offend people. Um, that that of course w worried me because I don't want to work. I don't want to offend anyone. I haven't done anything. I just make movies. Um, but. Um, um, every, everything in me knew that um, after having attended this this festival San Sebastian for uh, over the many years three four times it's a place that I've always loved and um, respected for um, well for being a real film festival a proper film festival that's not um, about schmoozing and it's it's not ab it's it's about the films and it's about the filmmaker and for my for me to have been chosen to receive such a prestigious honor is uh, is very touching is very moving and uh, I'm super honored I don't um, Awards themselves are a strange beast. When, when it, when it, um, when it, when 
it requires competition. Um, I just don't like the idea of competition. I don't, m myself personally, I don't, I, I never want to compete with anybody. I don't, com don't want, still don't want to. I, I, everybody's just trying to do their best to get, get to tomorrow, right? Um, so that just the mere fact that, that there was somehow, probably by fluke mistake, my name came out of the hat um, to receive, <laughs> Receive, receive this, and I am. Um, uh, it's 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 something that I hold in in, in high honor. I have, I really feel humbled by it, um, and always happy to come back here. Muy bien, gracias. Tenemos ahí sí, la siguiente pregunta, por favor, que lleva ya tiempo también esperando. Eh, bienvenido, lo primero y aquí y enhorabuena por el premio. Eh, mi pregunta es acerca sobre los personajes que has encarnado eh, a lo largo de tu trayectoria, sobre qué género has estado más cómodo, qué es lo que menos te ha gustado en cuanto a la interpretación de ciertos personajes. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you, thank you. Um, you just reminded me. Oh, sorry, sorry. You just reminded. I just said I'm sorry to a microphone. I have to go. No, um, you reminded me of something, a, a section of a question that the gentleman asked earlier um, about uh, genres and things uh, regarding cinema. Uh, when I was a little kid, um, silent film was very important to me because there was a, a public television station that showed all these incredible Chaplins and Keatons and um, Lon Chaney's. Um, and then what replaced that as I got a little older were uh, the black and white horror films, of course, you know, the um, Frankenstein and uh, Dracula, Wolfman, all, all that. And uh, so I was always, always a big fan of, of horror uh, films, uh, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I, which was one of the th one of the things that Tim Tim Burton and I, when we first met, connected on these uh, obscure horror films. But, um, so I guess what I what I loved about what about what I loved about the horror genre was that um, one could hide uh, behind the makeup, the mask. Um, one could um, escape um, the the weight or the gravity of your of who you are of yourself you know um, it helps to put you in a wearing prosthetic makeup or changing the way you look <clears throat> it helps to <clears throat> take me further away from um, the novelty of my name, <laughs> you know. Um, so so um, it becomes a, it, it becomes this uh, kind of um, circularly just continue, continuous, um, um, continuous, you again. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about the character and where he may have gone wrong or where he may have done this or that. So, um, yeah, I feel far more comfortable um, hiding behind prosthetics or hiding behind a character than, than um, actually having to be uh, myself. It's a... Uh, it's weird. <laughs> when you get more comfortable in front of a camera as a character than you are on a train, something's gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> Thank bueno. you. Bueno, tenemos, lo siento, lo lamento, pero el señor Depp se tiene que ir ya porque tiene que prepararse para la entrega del, del premio esta noche. Le pido disculpas a los que no habéis podido preguntar, pero es que realmente tenemos el tiempo muy limitado. Solo nos quedan 
agradecerle una vez más su presencia en San Sebastián y desearle mucha suerte esta noche con la entrega del premio. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. You, you're very, you're, you're very kind. Thank you. I'm very honored. Yes.